Well, one of my first memories of Fateful Academy was the ninth grade um, field trip. Uh, we went on a retreat with the whole ninth grade class as like a bonding thing. And that especially meant a lot to me because joining Fateful Academy, I was very new to the Fateful Academy community. Um, I had not known any of the students here, so leaving all my middle school friends, elementary school friends, and coming and making new friends was something out of my comfort zone. Um, and the ninth grade trip really allowed me to get to know people better, even if I wouldn't have done that on, on a regular school day in the hallway, going up to someone and just introducing myself. Um, it helped me figure out like what everyone's like weaknesses and strengths were and I made very lifelong friends I have to say and I continue to be their friends till today and I think that moment we shared over those two days really impacted my four years here at Fateful Academy. Um, I've discovered who I, who I am, who I'm going to be, who I was and I definitely say that the ninth grade field trip really helped um, because one thing about Fateful Academy is you don't have that pressure of coming in and wondering, will you fit in? Will I be able to make your impact? Will I be able to you know, become someone's friend? Will I be able to impress somebody? One of my favorite things about being a senior is high school is almost over and the fact that college is about to begin. Um, I really have dig deep to find out who I am as a student, as a leader, as a person in this community. And senior year has really shown me what my true character will be in college. Who will I, who is my mirror image? Who do I want to aspire to be? Who inspires me? And I think that with the privileges of being a senior, it really helps guides me to, do I want to be that person in college? Should I make better choices? because everyone will say that high school is like the fundamental years of adult life. I mean, you're making your own choices. You have to start learning about time management and all the important, I guess, adulting life tricks. So that's one thing that senior year has taught me and senior year, the friends that I will be uh, leaving them behind, but will surely keep up in touch with them all throughout college and adult life and all. Um, so that's definitely one thing about senior year that I will be missing and loved the most. Where do I see myself in 10 years? Wow, that's a very deep question because I really feel like each year really counts and each year will really make a difference in my lives. And I'm the type of person who likes to see the benefits in anyone. I think everyone has something amazing to offer, whether they don't want to share it or some it's not what they don't consider the best. Um, and I want to continue being that person, to see the best in others, to, uh, in, to spark positivity, um, to continue making my teachers, my parents, myself proud, um, not just in the educational world, but just in general itself. Uh, I want to be able to, whatever I touch, wherever I go, wherever I see myself, I mean, if it's in a school, a job, uh, with a family or something, I want to be able to spread smiles, uh, continue to do uh, service before self, which is my motto, um, continue doing good to the community, and just to be an overall good person. Because I feel like the amount of animosity that, as a world, we can sometimes create just a simple smile can just turn things around. So I continue to help to inspire and motivate other students, um, teachers, adults, anyone I can like touch upon and just spread the uh, goodness of just positivity. I think I wanna be someone who is very dependable. I want to be able to be approached by anyone without them feeling that they need to you know, change who their personality is or <clears throat> feel that they need to act a certain way around me. I want to spark comfort when I'm around people. Um, I recently, well not recently actually, it's five years in the making, have um, started this program where I work with foster care children and I kind of mentor them. I, 
help them get through their tough times because um, <clears throat> they go through a lot of stress and I want to be that stress buster if I can by you know doing simple like yoga tricks with them or meditation or just to have a counseling moment I mean hey no kid wants to just like sit down and not have a talk I mean that's the easiest thing to do and I feel like with that age no, with that not age gap that we don't have, um, I'm able to get on a personal level with them that they may not get with an adult. And I want to be able to continue that. Um, so I think that's one way I want to be remembered for the work I do. So, yeah.